7 Failed Hip Hop Songs In this world, there are two kinds of rappers. Those who care about making hits, and those who don't. You can clearly see a difference between someone like Kendrick Lamar and someone like Drake. While they both make great tracks, it's clear that Drake is much more interested in getting on the radio than Kendrick is. But what happens when a rapper becomes too focused on making a hit? The best hit songs are the ones that seem to naturally rise to the top. It can be pretty obvious when a rapper goes out of their way to make a hit song and audiences don't often respond to that. We all collectively roll our eyes when we see an artist try to cash in on trends with a song that just doesn't resonate with people. It happens time and time again, and I don't think that it will stop anytime soon. There are a lot of tactics out there to try to get a hit, and these songs really tried it all. A-list features, dance challenges, viral music videos, and all kinds of other strategies that have been employed in order to get a song to chart. But that doesn't mean that it worked. Before I jump into this video, though, make sure you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now here are 7 failed rap hit songs. Number 7, Walk on Water by Eminem featuring Beyonce. Eminem has been a very polarizing rapper throughout his entire career. He shocked the world with his combination of high-octane lyricism and a tendency for edgy subject matter back when he first came out. He felt like a true rebel in the rap universe, but nowadays he's more well known for calling out mumble rappers than he is for his own music. Alright look, when it comes to Eminem, you've gotta have some level of respect for the guy, but most people would agree that his output these days just isn't at the same level of his old music. M has had a few stunts that have kept him in the spotlight over the past few years, but most of his music hasn't really punched through to the mainstream in the way that he probably wished it had. So in 2017, he was looking to change that. He recruited Beyonce, along with certified hitmaker Rick Rubin, for a track called Walk on Water. It was released in support of his upcoming album Revival, and it actually did pretty well, but not quite as well as we imagine he was hoping. Having Beyonce on your song is basically a cheat code when it comes to making a hit. It charted well, but it failed to actually bring Eminem's music to a wider audience. Some people heard it on the radio, but it hardly converted anyone from a hater to a believer. For that reason, this song makes the list. Number 6, I Got the Keys by DJ Khaled featuring Future and Jay-Z. Say what you want about DJ Khaled, but you can't say that the guy doesn't understand marketing. He may not be a rapper, or even much of a musician, but the guy knows how to get together a team of people to make a popular song. He's also pretty savvy when it comes to social media, earning himself meme status with some of his catchphrases and stunts. Back in 2016, it seems like everyone was saying major key because of DJ Khaled. So what did DJ Khaled do? Well, he released an album called Major Key. <laughs> Duh. And one of the lead singles from Major Key was I Got the Keys, another song that tried to grab onto the virality that his phrase had gained. It was definitely a bit funny, but the song was completely serious, making it relatively odd territory to navigate as a listener. But Khaled didn't stop there. In his push to make the song successful, he later released a music video that featured not one, not two, but 11 other famous rappers. <laughs> You're seeming a bit desperate there, Father of Assad. The song did alright, peaking at number 30 on the Billboard Hot 100, but still pretty lackluster for a song with Future and Jay-Z. But I imagine that Khaled wanted a showstopper, sort of like what he got with I'm the One only a year later. Number 5, Futsal Shuffle by Lil Uzi Vert. If you're a fan of Lil Uzi Vert, you probably remember the period between Love is Rage 2 and Eternal A Take with a feeling akin to PTSD. The constant periods of ghosting followed by lukewarm rumors were like torture to fans and they only had leaks to tide them over for years. So when Uzi finally returned to Twitter and released Futsal Shuffle with the Eternal A Take soundbite, it felt like a return to normalcy. But here's the thing about Futsal Shuffle, it was just a bit odd. While the sound may not have surprised Uzi diehards, his casual fans were likely a bit taken aback by its spacey and dancey nature. Also, not many people even know what Futsal was, which didn't help in terms of the song's popularity. As it was his first hit song since retirement, Uzi pushed Futsal Shuffle really hard. He made constant tweets promoting a dance that went along with the song, and that definitely got people hyped up. But there was another issue here. The dance was just way too hard for most people. While making a dance challenge is a great way to get a song popular these days, take a look at most TikTok dances compared to the Futsal Shuffle. Uzi's dance is just way more complex. Luckily for Uzi, plenty of other songs off of Eternal A Take, such as Baby Pluto and P2, did quite well. So we doubt that he's stressing it. 
Number 4, 2-2 two -two by 6-9. For quite some time, it seemed like 6-9 was incapable of not charting. Every single song he released went directly to the top of the billboard, much to the chagrin of many hip-hop heads. After his release from jail, all eyes were on his next move. And he delivered with a smash hit, Trolls, with Nicki Minaj. The buzz just kept growing amid the rollout of his record, Tattletales. And 6 9 seemed primed to seal back his status as one of rap's most popular stars. And what happened when Tattletales dropped? Crickets. After months of mocking everyone who sold less than 50,000 units on their debut week, 6 9 only sold 53,000 with his album. And it's not like he wasn't trying to promote Tattletales and make it a huge success. The stunts he was doing before the album's release were eyebrow raising even by his standards. So really, the entire album of Tattletales could be viewed as one of the biggest failed hit attempts in recent rap history. But one song in particular stands out. Tutu. That Takashi was really trying to promote, and it racked up a lot of views on YouTube, yet it barely even broke into the Billboard Hot 100. Ouch. Turns out that 6 9 and his team had spent an ungodly amount of money on YouTube ads to help boost the video, which did get it more views, but didn't help it actually chart on Billboard. Number 3. Oprah's Bank Account by Lil Yachty. When Liliani burst onto the scene back in 2015 with One Night and Minnesota, most people were thinking that rap's next viral hitmaker had been found. He had the eye-catching hair, he had the quirky aesthetic, and he had the catchy hooks. And yet, that wasn't really what his career shaped up to be. While Little Boat has had a fair number of hits under his belt, it's always felt like he has never really been able to reach his peak in terms of success. Instagram and YouTube comments are constantly claiming that he has fallen off, no matter what year it is. Although he released an album called Nothing to Prove, it always felt like Yanni needed to prove his abilities as a successful songwriter. It seemed like the stars had a line for Yachty when he rejoined the conversation of rap's biggest stars when he dropped Oprah's bank account this year. It had the sing-song hook that Yachty's previous hits had, it had an interesting title, and it featured two artists that were basically guaranteed to produce a hit by 2020, DaBaby and Drake. On top of all of that, Yachty even dropped a high-budget comedic music video for it. You know, one of those where the video is way longer than the song itself. And the song didn't do so great. Well, number 55 on the Hot 100 is alright, but seriously, if you have Drake and DaBaby along, you should expect to go number one. Maybe Lil Yachty really does have nothing to prove. The guy has had a lot of hit songs, but Oprah's bank account wasn't one of them. Number 2, At Me by Playboy Cardi Lil Uzi fans and Playboy Cardi fans have a lot in common. Honestly, their fan bases are kind of made up of the same people. But even the people who only like one of these rappers have common ground with fans of the other one because of one thing. Waiting. Cardi, much like Uzi, has really put his fans through the ringer with the wait for his new album, Whole Lotta Red. And most people are starting to get impatient. But things looked bright for the Cardi fandom once. After an insanely long period of silence, Cardi returned to social media with a brand new track called At Me. After many leaked tracks that featured a dark and highly experimental style, fans were excited to check out this track. After hearing it, most came away slightly disappointed. To add on to that feeling of disappointment, Cardi went ghost again after releasing this track. It seems certain that At Me was going to serve as the lead single for Whole Lotta Red, yet he just disappeared. Even a mysterious tweet that seemed to hint at a Monday release date ended up being nothing. So most fans walked away from At Me with a bad taste in their mouths. While it could have been a hit if it had been a bigger part of the rollout for Whole Lotta Red, it was instead left as a Lucy that people quickly forgot about. Fans are still waiting for that lead single. Number 1, Taco Tuesday by Migos. The current state of Migos is an interesting one. As one of the groups that really helped popularize the modern trap sound, Migos once were the absolute hottest rap group out. Not that there was a whole lot of competition, but you know what I mean. But rather than capitalizing on their star status and following up their 2018 record, Culture 2, with another album, they've been oddly silent. And that's largely because they've been working on solo projects. All three of the members of Migos have had success releasing their own independent music, with Offset in particular emerging as the unlikely star of the group. While it was cool to see them experiment with their own styles, many rap fans were wondering if the group would ever get back together, so to speak. As one of their first singles in a while, Migos released Taco Tuesday in 2020. The song was short and funny, and not at all what most fans of the group were looking for. 
Did seeing the title give most people a laugh? Sure. Did anyone actually enjoy the song enough to have it on repeat? Uh, no. The return of Migos with Taco Tuesday was a hugely underwhelming one, and the song failed to chart whatsoever. With the relevance of the group continually in question, we'll have to see if they can bring back the hits with whatever they do next. So do you think I was wrong and maybe one of these songs was actually a hit? Let me know in the comments. And before you leave, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to our channel.